Bam! What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Titan Anderson Sports Show. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Welcome, welcome. Preseason is adios. No more preseason. It's all done. No more. Pretty crazy stuff, you guys. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, a lot has happened, you guys. Honestly, um, we're finally at the at the stage where it's uh, we're getting ready for football, and I'm so excited. I'm so excited because you know the three weeks of preseason seem like forever. Like literally, it seemed like forever, you guys. Um, I'm glad that uh, I'm glad there's three games instead of four. Four is just it's too much. It's just ridiculous. But um, I loved a lot of what I saw. Honestly, a lot of the stuff that I saw was awesome. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna be getting into a lot of things. Uh, we're gonna let a, we're gonna let some people get in here because it just started. Um, but yeah, there's a lot that we're gonna go over today. Um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying yourselves, and it's gonna be a good time, man. Because it's gonna be dope tonight. It's gonna have, it's gonna be a fun fun show. Um, again, shout out to everybody who's already in here. Let's try to get at least 60 likes. That'd be dope. Um, but yeah, we've got a lot of stuff coming up, you guys. We're gonna be going over a lot, okay? Uh, we're just gonna let everybody get in here. We got the schedule up for everybody who wants to see it right now. Um, turn that off real quick. But uh, yeah, man, uh, we're gonna just be going over everything. We're gonna be talking once we get uh, some people in here. We're gonna be talking about Malik Willis. Um, you know, just the regular season, preseason in general. Uh, thoughts on um, some of the guys uh, trying to make the bubble uh, or that are on the bubble trying to make the team. Um, I think I already said position battles. Um, King's expectations. These are huge. I want to talk about what I think uh, uh, is realistic for Derrick Henry coming into this year. How many yards can he get? Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be talking about um, Jonathan Taylor supposedly is in the top five for the top 100 players, and Derrick Henry was 12th. It is what it is. It's it, it's still a nice um, it's still a nice ranking. So it's not it's not the end of the world. Um, we'll see if Jonathan Taylor can do it with everyone King on him. We'll we'll see about that. Um, SM Ducky, man, what's up? Mark Jones in the building, Tyler, uh, LTH, Billy Scott, uh, BB15, what's up, fellas? We got almost 20 people in the building already. Oh, yes, sir. All right, let's turn the schedule off. We're going to leave the schedule off, and here we go. We have this officially. It's kind of big, but yeah, it's kind of annoying. We're going to kind of keep it kind of smaller, I guess, for right now. I don't know. We'll, we'll work, we'll work on it. Um, so yeah, um, I'm very excited about this year, you guys. Preseason went, um, I guess, uh, I want to say better than expected. Um, Kyle Phillips continues to show everybody why he has so much talent, you guys. So much freaking talent. Um, Traylon Burks is somebody all of us, all of us Titans fans have been waiting. We've been waiting for, and we finally got a uh, a Traylon Burks sighting. And it, it was a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Um, very happy to see Traylon Burks uh, making things happen for the team. And and as you can see, like like uh, we'll we'll go over that as well. Um, but you're gonna see um, a few things where it's just like wow. Um, obviously, I'm not gonna play the video in a live stream, but um, there's plenty of uh, plenty of video out there for you guys to see. Um, the strong hands literally catches it with his hands like you're supposed to do. And then the 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 burst, and then the little the little jump into the end zone was was dope. So that was obviously dope, dope, dope. Um, excited about that for sure. Um, okay, one thing I wanted to show it was uh was this one right here. Um, this one right here was crazy to me because you could see just in 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 a week's time. Uh, in preseason week two, it's it's the same area too. It's literally right around like two what three yards difference. It's the same thing. It's crazy. Um, and Burks right there running a great route. Literally ran up, turned around, stopped, and then ran like like a slant route a slant route after. It was beautiful. Um, and then obviously the throw. Um, I don't I don't think I have a picture of that. Um, at least on me uh, or or for the show. Um, but um, yeah, it literally the dude jumps up and and Malik sidearms it again and and like i said in my my, my video this morning um he's a, every time every single game it seems like he's like he's played so far and i know it's only been three um you're always every single game you're 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 leaving 
uh, uh, after that game, after watching it, you're leaving that game thinking, like, holy crap, how did he do that? You know, jumping sidearm throws, uh, you know, making guys miss who are getting ready to, to destroy him from behind. Just eyes in the back of his head. Boom, spinning the other way and taking off. 50-yard runs. Um, this guy has so much talent. He has so much talent. And um, overall, I'm very happy, especially seeing the progression. Like, when you've seen, like, like, as you see down there in the preseason week two where it says missed, uh, wide open, and that's a walk-in touchdown nine times out of ten. And um, he 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 hung in there, uh, did one of his crazy throws, and then bam, right on target. And uh, Traylon Burks takes care of business. Um, one thing that he's going to learn how to do is, um, you know, not just depend on the legs. He's going to be able to trust the arm um, as he develops and continues to grow as a quarterback in in, in the NFL. Very excited to see what he can do for us, man, because Malik Willis, holy hell, man, he's got all the tools. He's literally got all the tools, and I'm very excited to see how this all pans out. It's going to be fun, man. Let's see, let's, let's see what everyone in the chat's doing, man. This is awesome. Uh, let's see. Ducky says, Danico Autry better be ready for week one or else I'm going to burn the Titan Stadium down. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't say all that. It's kind of crazy to say stuff like that, but... um, um. I think I'm hoping he'll be okay. Um, I think if it, if it was something lower body ish or whatever, I think he would be okay, uh, or it would be more of an issue. Um, but I think I think we'll just wait. I'm pretty sure we'll, we'll hear some news on that soon because um, Danico Autry last year was huge for the Tennessee Titans. Literally, the guy was a game changer, bull rusher. Um, what a pickup for the Titans in the off season, that's for sure. Danico Autry is going to need to be out there for sure. Mark Jones, tighten up, buddy. What's up? Uh, yeah, Mark Jones talking about King Henry. Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's weird, but it is what it is. We don't control that. We don't control that. What's up, King Isaac? LTH, everybody in the building. Yannit, yo, what's up? Am I early? Yeah, uh, we just started. We literally just started. We're letting guys still get in here and make sure if you guys are in here, in here, hit that like button. You guys, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Show some love, and uh, let's get some people in here. Let's have some fun. Um, LTH says Taylor versus Henry is going to be fire. Yeah, dude, uh, that's going to be a good, uh, good little showdown because it seems like everybody already wants to give up on the king. The only people still hanging in there are are, are loyalists and people who who understand uh, that the, the the king is is a once in a lifetime uh, running back and he's going to be back better than ever. He already looks more explosive than ever, which I don't even know how that's possible. But he it it just he's different. He's just different. What's up, Sergio? Uh, Mark Jones says Titans won on my birthday. That's awesome, dude. Happy birthday. Shane says Malik in time is going to be a star and he's going to be a problem for the league and he uh and he's very coachable. So Tannehill better hope he has a great season. Yeah, and, and we want Tannehill to have a great season. At least I do. I, I everybody should want that. As exciting as this rookie is, as exciting as the thought uh, or of the thought of um uh, Derek Henry on the like I like I mentioned in my earlier video the RPO run pass option with Malik and Henry would be lethal and then you got these these young guns uh, you know doing work and um, and creating space and like like Kyle Phillips nobody expected that guy to you know what I'm saying like this guy's route running is crazy um, Traylon Burks has all the abilities to be a true number one in the, in the NFL. Um, you know, Robert Woods is somebody who's reliable, c completely reliable, a true pro, and it's gonna be it's it's gonna be a season where uh, the 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 Titans, as long as we don't beat ourselves, it's gonna be really hard to beat the Titans because yeah, the offense. I mean, who knows? Maybe it might take a second, uh, but I promise you one thing: as long as we uh, stay or are healthier than last year, the offense can only go up from here. It can't get any worse. That's for sure. Can't get any worse. That's facts. Uh, Demetrius says, "Will Saquon have a hundred yards rushing week one versus the Titans?" I'll tell you what. I think if Saquon wants to wants to have a comeback year and and prove to everybody that he's he's you know that that early draft pick like and, he, and he's worth that and you know he can come back and, and not get injured anymore. He needs to go out and get an early uh, a, a quick one hundred yards against the Titans and, and and try to help his team win because um, if he doesn't do it this year, uh, I, I don't know if there ever will be for him. Just for the fact he's always hurt, man. It's that, that's a tough one. Tough one for the Giants. Tough one for the Giants. 
Uh, Wes says, no, Saquon ain't running for 100 on our defense, especially with that Giants O-line. See, that's the thing. The Giants O-line is trash, and our our defense is going to be hungry and um, very, very uh, upset still um, and, and wanting to erase that loss of last season against the Bengals. Uh, and, and and you guys are the test dummies. You guys are the first course. Uh, and Big Jeff is hungry. <laughs> oh, man, Big Jeff is hungry. Tighten Upload, what's up, buddy? Tighten Upload says, what's up, TA? Back in the ER with my son. Never stops, man. Anyways, tighten up. Man, I ah, man, that sucks, man. As anyone out there with kids can understand, it, it's... Uh, it's the worst feeling in the world when your when your son, daughter, whatever is uh is sick, and all you can do is just try to be there. Um, man, I remember one time, and I don't mean to go off topic, but uh, little T A was really sick, man, throwing up and stuff, and it was the scariest thing. I felt I felt helpless, man, and that's just, that's the worst part about being a parent is is when your kid's sick. That's the only negative about being a parent is is that sometimes you feel so helpless that you can't. Like, you wish you could just be sick for them, man. And I wish you nothing but the just best wishes to the, to your kid. And, uh, you know, just be there. Be there, man. Good luck. Take care. Um, appreciate you for stopping by, dude. That's cool. Uh, Matthew says, let's come on the Willis hype until he plays against all ones, please. <laughs> you know, there's a few people who have been actually say, uh, commenting stuff like that. Look, what if he didn't? What if? What if? He didn't do any of the the fifty yard runs or the long pass to McMath on the first week of preseason or or any of these crazy sidearm throws. What if he didn't do none of that? You think we'd still be happy? No, we're happy because this guy who was a first round talent slid to us in the third round and is looking literally like a first round talent. If you're a Titans fan, you got to be happy about it. You can't be negative. And if you're not a Titans fan, then I get why you're saying that. <laughs> I would be pissed off, too, if I, my team didn't take them in the first three rounds. Holy hell. Uh, Mark Jones says, Autry is just getting rest. He's a vet. Uh, Vrabel knows he'll be ready. That's what. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, I don't think uh, – I mean, he's missed a lot, though. Like, You know what I mean? So uh, we'll, that's something we're going to have to keep an eye on for sure. Let's see. Uh Jamison Mesa, what's up, buddy? He's been around a long time. Okay, still cannot believe that Malik Willis rode all the way to the end of the third round. Eight Titans got a steal. Um, look, the, the I and I agree with. I probably read it a little wrong. Um, or I don't know. Sometimes you guys write stuff in a in a hurry. Um, it's crazy to me, honestly. I don't know. I don't know how he went that far. I mean, I could see. Early second, like mid second, would be like whoa. Late second, holy crap! But, th- bro, third round. This guy went in the third round, bro. There's th- some, not all teams, but most three teams passed on him, or three times each team passed on him. Most of the teams passed on him at least three times. That's crazy. Now I understand. Uh, people, people thought, yeah, he's green. It's a pro project. I hate that fucking word project quarterback, whatever you guys can, <laughs> these, these draft analysts, these experts think what you want because Malik Willis looks really good out there. Let's go. Um, let's see. Uh, Mark Jones says Henry will separate himself in week one from JT. I think we have, he, Henry has a chance to go for a buck fifty and three touchdowns week one. He's gonna he's he's gonna be upset. <laughs> he's gonna be upset that he wasn't hundred percent going up against those those little orange kitties. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, he's gonna be running hard. Um, let's see. Mark Jones says who better for Malik to learn behind a uh, a leader and a warrior like Tannehill. See that that's something that's not talked about enough. A lot and I even said it in my live stream every single time uh that I saw uh Malik run to the sideline and Tannehill was there every single time that I saw them both near each other. Tannehill was talking to him, smacking him on the helmet or on the shoulder pad. So people can say what they want about him, but but Tannehill's the guy right now and he's the right guy right now. Um and and it, it's a blessing that he's still here right now because Malik Willis is going to get to learn so much by sitting back watching from a bird's eye view. This is only going to make him a better player mentally 
and that's huge because quarterbacks need IQ. This is going to give him a chance to set, sit back and observe and just perform better. I'm so excited for this man. He fell to the perfect team at the perfect spot for himself. Very excited. Uh, tighten up load. Thanks, TA. Appreciate it. Hey, man, you know what's up. Um, let's see. You guys are commenting like crazy. I love it. I love it. Yes, sir, man. Remember, if you guys want, because there's a lot of comments, if you guys want me to read it for sure, man, make sure you guys send us, you can send a super chat uh, and it'll glow and it's a 100% guarantee I'll read it. Uh, but there's a lot of comments coming in, so let's just have a good time. Sit back, enjoy. Uh, it's going to be a fun season. There, there's a lot of teams who, there's a lot of teams in the NFL who, like the Jaguars, who know they're going nowhere. And no offense to LTH, I'm pretty sure he even knows. His team's probably, they're not going nowhere. There's certain teams you know are going nowhere. For uh, Some teams have a lot to look up for, to, like the Texans got a lot of draft picks. There's teams that just suck like the Jaguars who are just going nowhere. So I think right now, if you're a Titans fan, be very, very happy uh, because we've got a freaking good-ass team. Very good team. All right, man. Uh, Jameson says, King Henry is going to uh, retain his throne with your authority this year. Um, yeah, I, I honestly think Derrick Henry is going to run hard, really hard, and 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 it's it, he's going to show people the king is still here. This is still my time. Jonathan Taylor, maybe later, not now. It's my time. Um, and and I think the the weaponry, the arsenal that we have around the Tannehill right now and Henry, um, is better than last year's. It fits what we do more. It's more of a get the ball to them, let them make plays type of offense. I love what we're building here. Uh, obviously, Todd Downing is still looking like Todd Downing, but I'm just hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, he gets away from that run-run pass thing and starts using play action a little bit more creatively, knowing that the, the personnel is different, knowing that even though we're run first, you know, the, the pass version of this team is a completely different look, face lifted to the max. Uh, let's see. Um, Wes says we got to get trailing the ball, which I know uh, I get, I get a, what? Which I know a get a get a like a Tannehill will you would think Woodside could, but he's trash. Uh, okay, let me just re <laughs> let me rephrase this. What I think you're trying to say. Okay, um, look, Tannehill and and Traylon already seem like they have that chemistry. Um, like when you've seen all those deep balls early in training camp, um, and Tannehill has a very beautiful deep ball. Right now, he's way more accurate than Malik Willis. Um, but Malik Willis, like, it's crazy to see his footwork, Malik Willis's footwork, in right when he started putting pads on, even before the pads came on, compared to the third, the third game on the third preseason that we just played. That shit is night and day difference. This guy is learning and absorbing everything like a football sponge. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, bro. We take our time with him. Anything's possible. Let's freaking go. Um, Yannick says, just imagine doing a read option and you're so confused. Will Malik get it or Henry? See, that's what's scary because Malik has special explosion acceleration, special explosion acceleration. He can just explode. And the next thing you know, he's gone. And like I mentioned before, he's not a slim Jim built quarterback. He's not built like that. If you're not a good tackling quarterback or, 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 or defensive back linebacker or anything, not only can he just shifty, shake, shake and bake, go by you, but he can outrun you, stiff arm you, outpower you. This guy, oh man, I'm very, I'm very excited. I really am, really am. It's gonna be a good fucking season. Good fucking season. Mark Jones says, "Nope, Titan shutting the run down." Uh, DJ says, "Receiving core last year was decent, but this year could it be better?" Robert Woods is not 100%, and Traylon Burks looks good against backups, but I want to see him against the starters, and Westbrook is known. Look, it, uh, I agree. Everybody wants to see him against the starters, but, it, I mean, you only got you can only go up against whoever's in front of you. You know what I mean? And um, sadly, the Giants are going to be in front of us soon, and it's <laughs> uh, the, 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 tight, the Titans are going are gonna, to are gonna beat them pretty bad. It's going to be pretty bad. So if you're a Titans fan, get ready. Get fucking ready. It's going to be a beatdown. 
Uh, Mark says no other quarterback is doing what Malik is doing in preseason. I mean, Kenny Pickett looked decent, but I mean, I just see, I see special in in Malik, especially if he can continue to grow like he's growing before our eyes. I see a special quarterback, literally. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Trace Hale. Hey, TA, can't wait to watch NFL game streams. Hey, man, I'm excited, too. I can't wait. Can't wait to have you guys here, man. Uh, Shane says, Big Jeff is going to go own a rampage th- uh, own and rampage this year. I feel sorry for opposing quarterbacks this year. Yeah, Big Jeff is going gonna, is gonna to play, um, I, I think, better than he's, than he's ever played. Um, I, 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 tr- I truly believe that. Th- this, this man's different. This man is just different. Just different, bro. Uh, Genio Allen says, Titan Anderson, I love your channel, bro. Been subscribed for a while, and this is where I come when we aren't on broadcast TV. Keep growing, bro. I appreciate that, Genio. Thank you. Appreciate the, the support, man. Thank you. Uh, Henry uh, Mark Jones says, Henry's first carry, he's taking it to the house. I'll tell you what, that'll blow Titan Nation up, man, because Derrick Henry's like like a, like a god to, to, to the Titans, man. Like, literally. Uh He's different, man. He he may be the most popular Titan we've ever had, and that's saying a lot. If you actually think about it, he could be, honestly. Honestly. Let it sink in. Uh, Wes says, TA, I like you, but you never know about any team. Nobody thought the Bengals were even a playoff team before last season. Look what happened. You never know. T-Law could pop this year and... Never know. Nah, nah, Jaguars. Jaguars ain't going nowhere. Two winning seasons. Josh Boy Gaming is a member. Appreciate it, man. Hell yeah. Thank you. I just saw that. Um, but the Jaguars, two, two, what is it? Two or three winning seasons in the last 23 years. Ah, yeah, they, they, they trash, bro. They trash. Um, LTH, AFC becoming more stacked for sure. Yeah, man. Um, it's going to be crazy seeing, um, it's going to be crazy seeing, um, just everything. You know, seeing all these new teams, um, um, lots of new players from new teams, like Tua. Uh, Tua's got a new weapon in Tyreek Hill. How is how is um, how is Justin Herbert going to progress? How is uh, Patrick Mahomes going to do without Tyreek Hill? Um, there's so many stories, like like AJ Brown with the Eagles. How is he going to do um, without the running threat of a Derrick Henry play action? There's so much, bro, and I love the NFL for that. I really do. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. Let's do it, man. Let's do this. Let's go. That's fucking great. All right, man. Let's go. Uh, let's see. I think Tim Kelly will help Todd Downing's play calling. Yeah, see, the thing is with uh, with with Tim Kelly, he's a he's really really good at at disguising and making uh, quarterbacks look better than what they may, even may be. So I I think personally um I I think personally it's going to be um uh, it's going to be a new look offense. Um other than other than the typical run and all that crazy shit, um yeah, you you you're, you're going to have you're going to you're going to see a you're going to see a completely completely different offense. You'll see. It's going to be badass. It's going to be badass. You're going to see you're going to see play action and then you're going to see stuff um you're going to see quicker throws. You're gonna see obviously a lot of run plays. You're gonna see a lot of that, but uh, I, I'm, I'm hoping they give Burks a lot of the one-on-one tries. Um, I'm, I'm really hoping that I see that. I'm really hoping that I see the one-on-one, the one-on-one situations. I really, I really hope I see that um, because he can win 50-50 balls. He, he really can. He really can. Uh, Mark says Tannehill is exci- excited to get to work with these new weapons who actually practice to put in the reps. Yeah, that's another thing, man. It seems like these receiver weapons that we have now uh, are taking things serious, man, and and I love it. I really do. Uh, Avic says, "What do you think our record will be?" I say we go ten and seven and sneak into the wild card. I think I I think we're gonna win twelve or thirteen games personally. I think we're gonna be very good. Uh, Charles Welbeck, what's up, buddy? TA, I saw a picture of Rossi and Malik after the game last night. Was it Photoshop? No, that's that's real. That's one hundred percent real. That's not fake at all. That's real. Uh, let's see, Chris, what's up, buddy? I think Tannehill has another down year. Offensive line will struggle. What up, TA? <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, who knows? I hope I hope he has a good year. I mean, if he if he starts struggling, Malik's ready to go. 
So either way, at least I feel comfortable. It, it, you know, that way I feel a little bit com uh, more comfortable. So it's okay. Um, yeah, Wes. Wes, I, I thought so, man. I was like, what is he talking about, man? There's a couple con. Like I, you got to. There's so many comments coming. I'm trying to. I'm trying to read as many as I can uh, for you guys. But uh, again, man, everybody who donates and all that stuff, man, I appreciate that. Like literally, it means a lot to me, man. It all goes towards channel upgrades, and we've got a. Uh, as you can tell, man, just look throughout the, the the years, man. The channel looks completely different, and it's all because of you guys, man. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Chris says, I think ten oh, I think I already read that. Uh Awaken. Tennessee will win the division this year. Of course. Easy. Uh DJ Abkul says, TA, will the receiving core be better this year or no? Burks looks good. We've got to see him against the starters. Um I think I personally think it's gonna be better. I personally think it's gonna be better. It's gonna fit in more with what we're gonna do. Yeah, so that makes sense. That makes perfectly sense. 